Uh, Tech Mission is a nonprofit urban ministry. Um, we have about 50 staff that are focused on helping urban youth. And the way we do that is by trying to connect thousands of Christians into serving the poor um, in various ways. So um, we have a lot of websites where we do that. Um, and really the, the vision that, that we saw was um, if the internet can be good at matching up millions of buyers and sellers for eBay, why can't you do that among Christians? So there's millions of people who have needs and then there's millions of Christians who have gifts and resources. So why don't we connect them up? So we started a website called christianvolunteering.org um, where we uh, match up thousands of volunteers with thousands of uh, service ministry opportunities all around the world. So I grew up in an inner city environment and I saw the lives of most of my friends um, destroyed by poverty and addiction and different things along those lines. And my ticket out of the city really was Jesus and some technology skills. So um, I gained a lot of computer skills, um, ended up going to school at MIT and was aspiring to be, you know, some computer guru or, or whatever. But then God um, really broke me and I realized that my heart was more for the city. Um, so I, I was left with these computer skills, but I had a heart for the poor, and I asked God, what do I do with this? And that's whenever God showed me a vision for um, that technology can be used for serving the poor, and um, that's what I've been doing ever since. So this year we'll place 15,000 volunteers and about 5,000 different ministries around the world. Um, most of those ministries are serving the poor. Um, we're going to have 50 full-time people that are serving in urban youth ministries. Um, and they're going to be serving thousands of kids. And these are kids that if they weren't a part of these programs, they'd be out running the streets, getting involved in gangs, getting involved in drugs, having sex, different things. Um, and what happens is these youth programs um, provide them an opportunity to be involved in productive activities, learn about Jesus, and um, to stay on track academically. Um, so what we're trying to do is to connect up thousands of volunteers with these um, different uh, youth opportunities. On top of that, we have an online school where we um, provide bachelor's degrees in uh, urban ministry and addiction studies. We're, we're running what is the second largest nonprofit internet ministry after Christianity Today, and we're doing that all out of a, a small house in the middle of Dorchester, and a lot of people don't realize that. Um, and what we're really trying to do is, you know, you look at the difference between the haves and the have-nots, um, and what we can do is, you know, Christians want to give, it's just often hard for them to give back, so we're trying to use the internet to make it easy so that um, people can share their resources with those in need. I think how it's really affected our family is we've seen how God's power can move um, and often God's power moves the most where there's the greatest need and by living in a community where there's a lot of need and um, by you know serving in this ministry we've seen God um, get behind what we're doing and that's helped build up our faith so um, we're seeing day-to-day -day miracles happen in the organization where um, we see you know we need money and we get a random phone call that brings in a million dollar grant um, we see we need new staff, and we have staff who join because God gave them a dream the day before their interview. Um, and what that does is it builds up our faith, um, both as a family and as an organization. And um, we want to be connected in with the community. So our, our family lives right above our ministry. So we're very closely connected. Um, my little baby Zeke goes and says hi to everyone every day whenever he comes home from um, school. And... Um, Heather has gotten involved uh, as an accountant and providing us with advice as an accountant. Um, and overall, um, what it's done for us is just connected us in with the community um, where we're serving. And um, to be honest, there's a lot of challenge, there's a lot of suffering that happens in doing um, this type of work. Um, but at the same time, we see the miracles that come along with it.